before I start with this Q&A vlog, I want to say thank you so much for all the love I have been getting on my first vlog, A Day in the Life of Queen Cop. I've been receiving messages from a lot of persons saying, you need to do this every day, but don't worry, I'll be mixing it with policing my personal life, uh, makeup, being a chef not a professional chef but yeah i can cook and other stuff just to keep it interesting so i want you all to remember to like comment share and subscribe to my channel that's queen cup you heard let's get into it right now. so for this vlog it's all about q and a's and i got my questions from fans friends and families from instagram and facebook so the first question comes to us from lee underscore slim chick big up yourself lee underscore slim chick for participating in this vlog now the question is what brand foundation do you use who i use so many brand foundations however the ones that i'm currently using are uh the l'oreal true match the Milani foundation and the fit me foundation so the one on my face right now is the l'oreal true match yeah second question is from rastaman pitney question goes can you come to my division one day so that i can take a pic with you <laughs> good question but in life you have to work for what you want so if you are really in need of that pick then you'll come to my division and you'll get your pick but thank you Dora Staman Pickney now the third question is from Frank Shim 6 that's on Instagram why did you choose such dangerous profession mm, good question but I do believe that that dangerous profession actually chose me <laughs> but yeah uh, I've talked about this over and over but let me say it right now so I chose to do policing or to become a police officer for various reasons apart from wanting to serve my country one reason I decided to join the Jamaica Constabulary Force is simply because I am from a military background my mom is a soldier I grew up at Jamaica Defense Force my first job was with Jamaica Defense Force and to see the level of discipline that they have and how they wear the uniform so well that really drew my interest into wanting to be a part of whether it be the JDF or the JCF. Now when I first started college I started at the National Police College of Jamaica and when I was in that class I was like the only civilian there. So you know again yes influence they influence me to join and say oh you should become a police officer you would do well and i just decided to give it a go and really that's how i ended up here today as a police officer in the jamaica constabulary it's from the first question is from britty underscore chrome how long did it take you to get through the process to become a police to start training no i cannot quite remember the exact process as in the timing but what i do know is that it took me four years after applying for me to get a call back it took me four not even me it took them four years to call me i must say that though that the process does not take that much of a long time anymore because the force is expanding and they're doing like rapid recruitment so it won't take you that long <laughs> That was in the past, but yeah, four years for me. And then the process after that, it just went through with ease. So it took four years to come in, but right after that, it went through with ease, like a couple months, and I was in training. Yeah, so question five is from Stan Havoc. Stan Havoc. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> uh, will you be a career police? career police will i be a career police well i do not know what the future holds but for now i can definitely say that uh, i am quite in i am enjoying my job right now and all that comes with it and what i can learn from it each day and the many people that i can help so if it is god's will for it to be a career let it be done 
question six i knew it i just knew it one of these questions are coming all right so it's from diva ash one mj double one more time perhaps hmm no <laughs> no i am not doing any more pageants uh as a contestant that is i i may judge i may help other contestants to get to where they want to be but to enter another pageant no that's it for me and one of the reasons why i can't do mjw is because i am getting old and there's an age limit i believe the age limit for mjw is 26 i am now 27 so no i can't but good question and this next question is from my good friend from convent of mercy academy alpha she was the head girl it's from shante grant black which competition is next <laughs> as i just said before it's definitely not pageant i don't know what competition is next because sometimes my head really clicks if it sees something and i want to do it i'll do it but i can't say for sure what competition is next but thank you shanti for participating and chuck star said you're done with police work no i'm not done with police work we are still police you know just like a relationship where multiple people in that relationship yes i saw me i'm a work on me i'm a work on like two peas in a pot me and the jcf the jcf and i if another thing comes about it's going to be the jcf and i and the third thing <laughs> but i'm not giving up my job no way if if something else comes along then yeah you gotta fit yourself in the middle or somewhere around it but nee. yeah i know i won't be a police forever man but you know i have to enjoy it while it lasts right so yeah for now it's you know yeah um the next question is from young underscore flames underscore don when is the next recruitment drive young flames you know you're not easy I'm going to ask them for now all the questions about the GC. <laughs> but uh, I don't know when is the next recruitment drive. You'd have to stay tuned to the Jamaica Constabler for his Facebook and Instagram page to find out when is the next recruitment drive. As also, if I, if I know when is the next recruitment drive, I'll just post it on my page. However, you can call down by the recruitment center at Ocean Boulevard because they do exams every single day of the week except on weekends and on public holidays. So you can call down there and you can ask them when you can come in, what documents to take in, and you're good to go. You don't have to wait on the next recruitment drive. You can just go by the recruitment center and do the exam. Easy as one, two, three. And can we get a drum roll for the last question? And this question is from Del Andre. And this one is from Facebook. What do you do for fun? <laughs> what do I do for fun? Let me show you what do I do for fun. from hanging with friends at sports bar and grills i enjoy going to the movies watch some really great movies especially supernatural movies or movies that are really funny also i like hanging at the beach you know chill on the beach eat some fish etc also i like to travel all over jamaica and just to take pictures i go on an adventure so those are what i really do for fun yeah no biggie but thank you guys for participating in this vlog and let me know what you want me to do for my next vlog and remember to like share comment and subscribe and if you haven't watched my first vlog i'll post the link down below so you can watch it and remember subscribe queen cup i'm out